So this is my first uh, video log experiment for a book review and I am going to be experimenting with technology at the same time that I'm telling you about a fantastic book that I think people should read. The question is, do I read it? Definitely. Where'd You Go, Bernadette by Maria Semple is a definitely you should read it book. Um, this book was recommended to me by another writer who is uh, Cherie Caswell Dost. She's from America. She's American. She's from Chicago. Um, she's an art historian. She is a hilarious writer of fiction. She's got fantastic dialogue. And when she started raving about Where'd You Go, Bernadette on Facebook, um, it piqued my interest. And I'd read reviews of it already from people I didn't know. But when Cherie said that this book was really worth reading, and then I was uh, going through an airport and saw it, I thought, definitely pick that up. And I did, and uh, I've been recommending it ever since. Um, so what I first wanted to show you is the cover, which I think is fantastic. Um, Maria Semple is a really cool writer because she does a lot of, um, she plays with perspective. She does a very adult story, but with the POV of a young adult interspersed within it beautifully. Um, that's something that not all writers can do, and I'm really impressed by Maria Semple's ability to do it. I wanted to just show you her picture because sometimes I think it's, let's see, webcam, kind of fun to, to know who has written the novel that you're reading. And um, Maria Semple, obviously totally cute, um, put together. I'm sure that portrait, that author portrait does her justice. Um, anyway, fantastic book. So what I thought I would do is tell you not just how I came across it and just the basics of why I liked it. Um, that point of view shifting, I think, was fantastic. The story arc um, definitely kept me going uh, page to page, and I wanted to know what the hints that came in in the beginning were going to be pointing to by the end, and uh, the payoff was absolutely there. Um, but beyond that, the language is absolutely beautiful in places, and um, it's although I say it's a very accessible book, it's um, not simple, not simplistic at all. There's a pretty deep foundation to it, and as I said, the language is stunning. Um, I wanted to read you just a couple things I marked. Um, here's a great metaphor for an example um, where the young girl B is saying something about her father that's made her very sad. And she says, a terrible sadness poured in through my head and filled me to the brim like I was a honey bear. I thought I might burst of sadness. That's just a cool metaphor. I hadn't seen something like that before and it was really visual. Um, and on the very next page, there's a beautiful philosophical line. Um, the, the daughter and her father are together outside in Antarctica. Um, hopefully that's not a spoiler, but anyway. Um, we were quiet for a while, and then I said, I think my favorite part of Antarctica is just looking out. You know why? Dad asked. When your eyes are softly focused on the horizon for sustained periods, your brain releases endorphins. He goes on and explains it's the same as a runner's high. And I just thought, yeah, I think that's true. And whenever you can pull a little nugget of truth and apply it to your own life, um, that makes me love a novel, uh, assuming everything else about it is also worthy of, of love. Um, okay, so there's this one other passage that I want to read. I don't know how long this thing is already. And like I said, experiment. Um, this is page 264 of this copy. And... And it's one paragraph, and I'm going to read it out loud because it's so awesome. Um, all right, B is sick as a dog, and she's, she's seasick, I think. She's on the boat. And um, so anyway, she's, she's gone in to lie down. Um, it says, I unzipped my hoodie, and she pulled it off by the cuffs. I squirmed out of my jeans. I shivered with the air against my bare skin. Line of dialogue, you lie down now, you sleep. And now here's this paragraph. I gathered the strength to slip under the chilly covers. I curled up and stared at the wood paneling. My stomach was filled with wo the wobbly chrome eggs Dad had on his desk. I was alone with the rumbling of the engine, the tinkling of the hangers, and the opening and closing of drawers. It was just me and time. 
It was like when we had a backstage tour at the ballet and I saw the hundreds of weighted ropes, the bank of video monitors, and the light board with 1,000 lighting cues, which were all used for one small scenery change. I was lying there on the bed, seeing the backstage of time, how slowly it went, everything it's made up of, which is nothing. The walls were dark blue carpet on the bottom, then a metal strip, then shiny wood, then beige plastic to the ceiling. And I thought, what horrible colors, they might kill me. I have to close my eyes. But even the effort of that seemed impossible. So like the ballet stage manager, I pulled one rope in my brain, then the other, then five more, which closed my eyelids. My mouth hung open, but no words came out, just a crackly moan. If there were words to it, what they would say was anything but this. So that's a, an example for you of Maria Semple's um, Far From Simple writing. It's, I think uh, it's just a, a really great quick read that has a huge payoff. So one more thing I wanted to tell you about my experience with this book, and that was that I put on my author page um, a quick note about my experience of reading it, which I, oh, I know where I wrote it. So what I posted on August 13th, 2013, to my Facebook um, author page was been thinking about the deeper philosophical stuff in Maria Semple's very fun novel, Where'd You Go, Bernadette? namely the God concept of Balakrishna, destruction and creation intertwined. My dad has always said, you've got to spend money to make money. My mom's always said, you've got to make a mess to clean up a mess. Are those my own, very traditional American family versions of Balakrishna? Or stuff's going to get worse before it gets better? So that was just a very quick post that I put up, but I got um, several comments about it in Facebook and many comments uh, from friends in person that really made this book um, continue to capture my interest again and again since I read it just uh, six months ago. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. It was seven minutes, 20 seconds, and I was aiming for five. That's me. Sorry. <laughs>